Hello, Aquarius. It's me, Alex. Let me take my car key off of me. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. Let us see what the ethers has for you, Aquarius. Ooh, this feels like it may be a good reading. Uh, commitment, uh, being lazy, but having feelings. Uh, tired of trying. Yeah, but that strength card to me kind of feels like trust. Um, you need to trust a little bit more or perhaps some of you guys are suffering from a lack of trust. Um, I don't know if this is lack of trust in a person, more so lack of trust in the dating process, the relationship process, the commitment process. Just kind of feels like, you know, um, you might have been thinking about it a lot lately, but not really acting on it, you know, kind of just sitting there, mm, four swords, just reflecting, right? Yeah, look at that with the two of swords coming out. Um, a lot of you guys may have issues with vulnerability, open, opening up, expressing your feelings, which comes along with commitment as well. Now with the four of swords and the eight, eight of swords, that kind of just says to me, you have a history of Say for instance, maybe not being validated, people not listening, people not hearing. Basically people not like um, showing up for you when you were trying to show up for yourself by, by being, you know, more vulnerable or emotional or sensitive. Ooh, or even loving is what I'm also hearing. Mm, interesting. Um, So this hierophant to me is almost like knowledge, wisdom, you know, coming from spiritual counselor, uh -oh. microphone, um, coming from a counselor, a therapist, some sort of guide, let's say. And that the hierophant with the two of swords kind of says to me, yeah, like a lot of you guys may need guidance. You may need help with learning how to open up with learning how to trust the person um that you're trying to open up to whether it's family friends boss whomever um and what i'm also being told well not being told but brene brown love her so much i think on netflix she has a netflix uh show called or lecture i guess on um call it's called call to courage and she studies vulnerability and shame so just, you know, if uh, some of you guys are interested in learning, exploring more about how to open up and feel comfortable being vulnerable, I don't know if anybody will ever feel comfortable. Just a little tidbit of information on, you know, what other research you can do. Uh, with the Nine of Cups and also the Hanged Man, you always sacrifice your heart. You you always make everybody else feel safe and love, loving and comfortable and and, you know, kind of warm and secure. But I feel like to an extent, you usually get the short end of the stick. Um, and, ooh, this six of swords and the four of wands. Ooh, they, these two cards are just speaking to me because I'm hearing that it's almost like you're tired of walking away. You're tired of, you know, kind of having to like abandon ship in your relationships. And again, guys, I'm not only talking about intimate relationships I'm talking about familial um, professional whatever relationships are out there and I feel like yeah you guys are desiring more stability um, in your family again with your relationships specifically we got four four and four here so yeah uh, okay so the Trinity okay so sorry angels are saying it may be time as an example for maybe some of you guys to consult again with an outside party, a therapist, life coach, whomever, to help you with kind of identifying some things that you can do for yourself to help you um, achieve success in your relationships. And I pause there because I also heard, I feel like with some of you guys, it first starts also with setting boundaries, right? Especially as we look at the nine of wands and the four of pentacles, a lot of you guys tend to give the best parts of you and the most sacred parts of you away 
Um, and then eventually again, having to turn away, having to move away because you're either being abused by, by people, um, you're being taken advantage by uh, taken advantage of by people or people are just outright using you. So I feel like you're tired and you're clammed up, you're locked up, blocked up, and you don't want to try anymore. Now with the strength card here, again, trust with the death card here, you know, and that kind of says to me, you're done, you're over. It's like, yo, I don't trust people. I don't trust the process. I don't trust relationships again, which is you not being interested, not want, wanting to open up in your relationships. You're, you, a lot of you guys may not even be interested in any sort of commitment right now. And I can't say I blame you. Um, but with the death card, this almost, it, it almost feels like whatever it is that you've been going through, it's time for that to come to an end. It's time for you to kind of grow past this, um, move past this, get through this. And more than anything, it kind of feels like establish some sort of stability within yourself first bound by setting those boundaries, establishing, you know, self-love self-care, you know, who am I, what, am, what, what it is that I want, what do I desire, what do I want to attract? First, knowing that, becoming secure in that with yourself before you actually get to the point where you're opening yourself up to include another person as part of that process. Now we have Taurus here, Pisces here, um, Leo here and Scorpio there. Boy, you got a lot of stubborn and prideful energy on the table. Leo and Taurus and Scorpio and Pisces. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Yeah, and that just kind of says to me right off the bat that a lot of you guys may attract. Uh, I could say emotionally unavailable people or people who neglect you, treat you like an option you feel invisible, like they don't have any regard for you um, in your relationships. Wow, deep message. Angel answers, ooh, yeah, unlikely. I feel like that's your current energy and that's exactly kind of where you sit. You sit in the position of, you know what? I'm just gonna sit on my, my um, sit here and not do anything. I'll think about some things. I'll, you know, try to clear away. Maybe I'll do some healing. It's almost like this four swords is almost like you sitting in a vacuum at this time. Confirmation. Yes. No need to worry. Yeah. When I see that no need to worry, I'm hearing there is a person out there for you who will meet you where you live emotionally. Good, good, good reading. Re recovery. Yeah, you're recovering or you need to begin your recovery. And for a lot of you, it could be recovery from a recent relationship. Or again, with the death card here, this could be the recovery from a long, long cycle that you've been in where you've been closed off and burnt out. And you know, that nine of wands says, baby, I'm tired. I need to take a break, but I got to finish this. I got to finish this race. So just know to an extent, Aquarius, that you will need to recover from this, get through this, get past this, close out that cycle. And I'm not going to say begin again with a cycle of trust, but if you are somebody who is desiring a romantic relationship, uh, trust is probably an important, just as important as being in the relationship, right? It's almost like you can't be in a relationship by yourself. You need another person or people, depending on what you're into. Um, but as much as that person has to be there to make it a relationship is the same as that trust also has to be there to make it a relationship and especially a good relationship. So Moonology, what do we have for Aquarius? Step, ooh, Lord, step out of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is right there. Angels are wanting you to complete a cycle. Close it out. Now, let me be clear. This card fell on my lap. These two cards. Let me be clear. 
I ain't saying you go strap on your cape and go jump off a tall building. No, I'm saying start the process to not just not jump off the building, but maybe visit the building, go up to the second floor in the building, you know, as in explore getting closer and closer to um, your desired goals of wanting that, you know, that special person. If that's what you want. Boy, universe is speaking to y'all today. Work through your fears. Nothing is yet set in stone, baby. You are a work in progress. You've got this. Ooh, what do you need to release? All right, Aquarius. I'm going to go ahead. Angel say pull three more cards. Okay. Yes, yes, energy. So what additional messages do you have for Aquarius? The garden and the gate. Ooh, that is that lion mentality as in you. It's the institutional thinking. You're stuck. You're blocked. You can't move. There's nowhere to go. But the, the door to the gate to the gate has been opened all the time. You just have to be bold enough, strong enough to step out of your comfort zone and enter out away from one cycle out of your current comfort zone into a new cycle, a new comfort zone or maybe we'll just call it a zone, right? Into a new comfort zone to help you kind of quote unquote, close out and get past some of these issues. Ooh, cornucopia. I love this card so much. To me, it's almost like the perfect life. Now you guys know there's no such thing as a perfect life, but how about the perfect life being, hey, you being happy again, or are you feeling secure again, or you achieving trust again? Huge, huge, huge messages for you, Aquarius. Magician in the mirror. Mm, what are you projecting? What are you putting out there? This is law of attraction, attraction, right? Because whatever you put out there is going to come back to you. So to me, it's almost like you checking your energy, checking yourself as in what have you been attracting and have you been attracting emotionally unavailable people because you are emotionally unavailable as in afraid to open up, afraid to show your heart. Ooh, financial constraints. That could mean money specifically, right? Four of Pentacles also represents holding on to what you have or being stingy and, you know, kind of being greedy. But I do kind of feel like with that um, financial constraints, it feels like what you consider to be valuable. What are your goals? What is it that you want to achieve? Do you have constraints on that as in, you know, are you being too rigid? Are you looking for a diamond in a rough, you know, in the middle of the ocean, in a remote part of the world, right? In other words, how realistic are you being or not necessarily realistic, but it's almost like checking your standards, checking your expectations to see if they're realistic. All right, my lovely Aquarius, I think this was an amazing reading. If you think so too, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not, and leave me a comment, guys. Let me know um, what you thought of this video. Love you, Aquarius. Bye.